Hello and welcome back to Fury Farms. We are on episode 6 on Beyond Home. And what we're going to be doing is straight off the bat, we will be jumping into the Massey. Yep. Because the whole lot of this farm has been fertilized. So we will be leaving that to grow. I'm not sure how long it takes to grow. Um. I say it's on real time, so a good 20 minutes each episode. So we'll see how it goes. Could take a while for them to grow, but why are we doing that for any money? Um, I do like being on real time, but if I've done all my objectives on the forestry bit and I've got certain things all done that I needed done. At some point it might be worth just speeding the time up by, by 60% just until the crops grow. Then once the crops have grown we can look into or we'll put it back on real time and we'll go from there. But again I don't like doing the speeding up of time so I'll have to look into that one. Whether I want to do it or not it's I'm gonna have to try and look and decide that for a while, like before I even think about doing it more. But for now, we have done that, we've fertilized all the fields, which is good. Um, we have loaded the truck up quite well. This one doesn't like it. Uh, then I'm gonna jump in the mass, eh? start up the engine. Yep. I'm going to pull it forward to here. I think we're going to start loading the back end of this one. Put this on. See, I can't get a full grip on all of them. So some of them we will just have to remove with the stump remover. Uh, but for the last bits of these, which is literally the last bits, is just picking up, getting rid of this, and then we'll use the stump remover to get rid of the debris that's left. And then we'll dump it and see how much money we get for the whole three trees that we did. Which should work out quite well. Hopefully, like I say, it should be about 60,000 for the three trees because they weren't small trees. Well, you wouldn't have been able to do it if you had like a, a scorpion king. Um, I think that's what they call it on this game. If you would have had one of them, you wouldn't have been able to chop the trees down. The trees in front of us. Like just way on in front and then once you can and when I say Scorpion King you go to all the way here it's this the Scorpion King you got the buffalo which loads them on and then you got Scorpion King that cuts them down to size for the buffalo but I don't like using them I prefer if I do forestry to do it with a chainsaw and either a front loader very rarely I'll use a front row loader um, or I'll just use a tractor and a train saw which is more where I get my control from is with the tractor because the front loader to me is a bit different to handle uh, I don't know I'm just used to a tractor more than a front loader so I think that's all it is, it's just my personal preference is I prefer to use this thing. Like I say, a lot of things I do in this is just my personal preference. Um, I do believe that when you're starting off on Bjorn Hole, um, it's, this is the better route to do. Because you want to earn money, so you have Farm 38. Uh, having canola because if you look, um, 
granola, uh, out of them all, other than wood chips, you uh, can. 2000, 2000, 2003, 2001, so you get a lot more money for canola. So that's why I have all three of my farms, all my plots, I have them grown canola in the beginning, and while they're doing that, I do some forestry just to get some money. So I can uh, get some other equipment to do more things. We can see the back end of that. Yep, there we go. That's a nice amount just for one little pickup. Way, 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 way. Obviously, don't go too fast because you will tipple the tractor, and the last thing you want to do is tipple your tractor. That's the last thing I want to do. Drop the logs in. Dropping nicely. I will get rid of you in a minute because you look annoying just poking out my trailer. I don't like the twigs. I come. It's because I've got the fork so far up in the air, it's just going to wobble. I come around this end. Might. Be able. Get a nice amount on there, like well. Uh, don't tipple, don't tipple, don't tipple. Ooh, good job. And. Spin and turn and dump, and we're good. There we go. Do that. more to go and then we'll be done with this and we can see how much money we get for this whole trailer hopefully I can get them two in the same one or the same go let's drop this down there because I don't want it tippling move around Like that. Look at that. That is good. Just like that. And hopefully. Ready to dump. We need to start the engine on this. We need to see. We get rid of these twigs. Oh, we've got some there. Uh, 
Get me something then. Come on. I hate doing this bit. thing I wanted a big twig sticking up in the middle of the wind in the road. And especially when you can't move it that well. Might just have to settle with putting the thingy on that one. Gone. Yep. I'll try the other side of this. See if that works. No. Alright, fair enough. We got rid of all the debris that was left. We can't get rid of that one. It's annoying. I know, but we can't do it. Somehow it's implemented into the ground. Someone planted it in the ground and I don't know what. It weren't me. So what we're going to do is we're going to... It just looks stupid. Can I chop it down in any way? I don't give me any way of chopping it down. It's just like a, it's bumped into the wall. Right, what we do need to do is look at the man truck I don't know if well when he's oh, oh, excuse me <laughs> trucks 17,000 we only have 17,000 so we can't rent it so yeah we've got to try and do it in the masse right, so We've left the column down and we're going to drive all the way up to the lumber We have all this lumber. Which like I said is not going to be easy to back up because of the dolly that's behind. Or the dolly that's attached to this to behind. I mean, I can get 17,000 is a good price um, to have uh, as a rent, renting. In fact, no. Quick sticking out. So yeah, right, that's that one. That's that one. It's really, so we've got eleven thousand. Which is basically three trees chopped down and put into the back of a trailer. One tree got just under twenty eight thousand. Obviously there's there's like four branches mixing, maybe five. So hopefully we can get about sixty to seventy thousand from this. I'm hoping sixty. Sixty is gonna be really good. Anything above that is going to be bonus. We'll see. It is going to take a good minute or two in order to back this up because 
like I say, with the dolly attachment, it's very hard because the dolly turns as well as the tractor turns. So your tractor will turn, and then you, after your tractor's already turned, your dolly decides to turn. So it's uh, not easy to back. Oh, crap! That's not good. Not easy to back up a trailer on a dolly. We did not miss any point. Oh. They're all there, yep. They're all there. Right. Yeah, like I say, it is not easy to do the backing up of a dolly. Or a trailer dolly. So this is going to be fun. And I could use... I dump it in a better way than I would, but I can't, so... I'm going to have to go this way. I don't remember that falling out. So when you turn the track off, the dolly doesn't want to turn the way you want it to. It turns on its own. You might actually be able to get this one done in one pull. In one reverse there. Let's see how much we're going to get from this now. Said 60,000 would have been really good. 78, so much better. And I'm still not finished on certain parts. I have got another tree to chop down, which is in the way. It can be done at a later once I've got a couple of things sorted, but it does mean that we have got another easy 25,000 there waiting with that tree. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drive this back to the farm or the farmyard. Oh yeah we did miss or one log did get away. We'll come back and pick that up at a later time. Um we'll just overtake it so I don't matter how much. See, there's a car coming up ahead. If I can overtake these and get on into the lane, I should be fine. Straight into the lane, and boom. Boom. So we're going to get this back to the farmyard and park it up. We're going to move the blue tractor, and then we're going to look into the placeables. I didn't think it'd actually be that fast. I knew I'd get it done this episode. But I think next episode, if we do get three placeables down, uh, three, I say placeables, if we get three greenhouses in them slots, then next episode will be filling them slots. Or filling them greenhouses. Which is basically getting them to have the seeds put in and the water, which means we're going to have to look into a mobile water tank. So, what we'll do, we will put this here, because that's the next tree that's coming down. We'll pull the steering wheel back up, steering column. 
We'll start up the engine of this one. Drive that way. And drive this one here. Well, I reckon it won't be the next time we log in. I'm not sure. Like I say, I'm not particularly sure whether I'm going to speed up the time just to get a bit more crops going. But that there like that. And now what we need to do is check out the place, placeable greenhouses. Basically when we try and put... We'll get two easily. I'm not sure about a third. But let's look at these greenhouses. See what I might do. i definitely get a greenhouse. Here, definitely put that one there. And if we get a greenhouse of lettuce and put that one there, what I'm thinking is I could have another one there and maybe hmm, oh, because they're 160 pound an hour on the income I'm going to move by there but this is 60 pound an hour but it's 20,000 mm. that one's going to be the better one to have but it costs 1.2 million um, basically we have our greenhouse both of them I do want to look into getting a third, but we need to get more money before we do that. Um, so yeah. We'll get it filled up and whatnot on the next episode. But yeah, we've got our greenhouses. So we got 89,000 from the three trees that we did. Uh, we've got two greenhouses. We can get a third. Uh, the reason why I had to leave that much space is I will show you on the next episode. Um, so yeah, we've got a lettuce greenhouse, we've got a tomato greenhouse. And we've still got 39,000 left over. So on the next episode we'll look into filling up the greenhouses with water, uh, with seeds, and getting a water tank so we can fill it up with water. But for now, that is it for this episode. I do thank you for watching. Uh, please drop a like on the video and subscribe if you are new and I shall see you in the next